pretty hard actually to start to wrap words around this. I mean, we are. This is such a significant time for for the, the tourism and travel industry. And just for your viewers, it's a one million dollar, one million job industry, a hundred and fifty billion dollar visitor economy. When you, you you put the restaurant sector on top of the the, the, the domestic and international travel, uh, you know now we've both Qantas and and Virgin Australia, our two obviously largest international local international carriers. Um, ceasing their international services for the foreseeable future. Uh, the domestic capacity, in essence, has been cut back to the bare bone. You know, the, this morning, you know, the, Tas the Tasmanian government announcement around Tassie becoming an island, um, off an island, not just in geographic terms, but in physical terms, around the need for any visitor to self-isolate for 14 days upon arrival into Tasmania. I, it's, it's, it's really hard to put words around it. It's, it's distressing. Uh, you know, we've got, we've got businesses to the wall. It's not just obviously our industry, there's others as well. Um, we've just got to try to find a way through it. I think we're at a stage now where we've just got to, we've just got to get on top of um, COVID-19. It's as simple as that because if we don't, there's not going to be an industry left in a few months' time. When you say we have to find a way through it, where are you starting? I mean, obviously there's the government assistance angle here. The government's being asked to, you know, help out so many sectors, pretty much every sector now around the country really struggling and only expecting things to get worse. How do you try to, to stem the damage at this point? Yeah, it's a great question. So look, uh, the way to stem the damage is, um, is from a tourism um, perspective, we're going to have to just get back to basics. We, we've got to sort of hone back in on the domestic market, which has always been the backbone of our industry. It's been on any, on any day of the week, it, it delivers seven out of ten dollars um, come out of the domestic tourism sector. Um, we've got to be able in time to instill um, confidence in people to travel. And it may well be by, by car or camper van or RV rather than, than in an aircraft. And it may well be that we, it'll, be, it'll be day trips before people uh, expand out longer. I mean, the events sector has been smashed um, outside of obviously some of the professional sports like uh, the um, uh, AFL and NRL will continue on, but to obviously to crowdless stadiums. Um, I, I, I tried, I'm an optimistic person. I, you, you've got to sort of think, how can we get through this? I, what, how we will get through it is if we can get through this peak of, um, peak of containment around coronavirus and we just see, we see some traction uh, in terms of the, you know, the public health initiatives in place that allow um, a level of confidence to come back into the marketplace over time. And time is now, um, it's going to extend out. Uh, I mean, I mean, all the advice the industry is receiving is it's, it's, it, it may be, you know, May, June that we'll see the peak of this and that we might see, start to see the, the slivers of green shoots to come back. But I, I guess a lot depends how we're going over the next, over the next period around whether or not we can get some containment and with containment allows it a level of confidence. And yes, we are, we are seeking more support from the government around what we can do, and governments per se, what we can do around supporting small, medium and larger enterprises to at least try to keep their doors open, keep their people in, in roles to some way, shape or form so that we can have the modicum of an industry when we, can, when, when we can start to pivot back. And just finally, Simon, for anyone who's booked a trip and now doesn't want to go, hotels, flights, bus trips, train trips, what can they expect in terms of getting their money back or, you know, is that something they need to write off now? Is it pretty much a, an individual case-by-case -case basis depending on the different hotel chain or, or whatever? Yeah, well, I guess so. Look, it depends when you purchase the travel and if you had travel insurance and when you purchase it. Um, Look, the the, you know, the terms and conditions are, um, whilst it's fine print, are, are pretty clear and what's a, what's applicable and what's not. I, I know with a lot of the transport providers, they are allowing people to defer that travel. So if money's been invested, you can defer that travel to a later time. I probably really encourage people, if you're in that situation, to look at that option um, because we will get through this. Uh, the amount of effort that's been undertaken by 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 our government, the collective state governments, obviously from a regional government perspective. Um, the health, the health system. Uh, everyone's got their shoulder to the wheel, without using a bad cliche. To get on top of this, get levels of containment. At the end of the day, Australia only has lowish incidences of coronavirus, and the vast amount of the the current number is is, is coming in essence from people that have brought it coming into the country, which is why we've had the closed borders and indeed closed closures of states as, as a result. So. Once we get through this hump, we've got to see what's left of the wreckage and um, we're not being flippant about it. It's, it's going to be a long way back um, for our industry now. We're just advising our, our small business members particularly, just, just get back to, uh, to, to your core, strip out all the costs you can, 
look at ways to try to help and keep your people. Um, you know, there will be more government assistance coming. Obviously, at the end of the day, that's not a bottomless pit either, but, um, you know, it's acknowledged by the highest levels of the land from the Prime Minister down that the tourism industry has, has copped it really hard uh, and there, there will be further support coming. We're obviously hoping it will be coming sooner rather than later.